And scientists have discovered a remarkable act of self-sacrifice inside ant colonies. Well, it's one that mirrors the self-defense systems of human body. Scientists have revealed that this extraordinary survival strategy of the natural world, when new research shows that sick young ants sent a please kill me signal, telling worker ants to destroy them to protect the entire colony from infection. A team led by scientists in Austria has uncovered a dramatic form of insect altruism. Terminally ill young ants, known as Kupe, release a distinctive smell that send a clear message to worker ants, destroy me before I infect the colony. Well, researchers found that when pupae get fatally sick inside their cocoons, their bodies produce a special chemical odor. But there is a catch here. The pupae only release the odor when worker ants are nearby, a sign that it is a conscious biological signal for self-destruction. Researchers call it an altruistic act, one that protects shared genetic survival. Worker ants quickly respond by removing the cocoon, biting holes into the pupae and inserting poison. And that toxin kills both the pathogen and the pupae, stopping any chance of a widespread outbreak within the colony. Now, there's also an exception. Queen pupae does not send out the smell. Even when they are infected, scientists found that queen pupae have a stronger immune response, giving them a better chance of fighting off disease on their own. Well, the study which was published in Nature Communications opened new questions about how far even the smallest creatures will go to protect their communities and how nature engineers complex systems of cooperation and self-sacrifice.